Hello friends, today we are going to analyze the given simply supported beam using the Macaulay's method and calculating slope and deflection at different different location. For the simply supported beam, first we have to calculate the support reaction and we know that at hinge support one vertical reaction, at roller support also one vertical reaction and at hinge support one horizontal reaction is there. To the absence of horizontal or inclined loading, our value for HA is zero so let us calculate the support reaction in the vertical direction using the three equilibrium condition out of which if we take the moment at a as a zero and treating clockwise moment as a positive then at location a 48 into 2 in clockwise direction 10 into 4 in clockwise direction and cg distance is 4 by 2 but we have to take a moment at a so 4 plus 4 by 2 as a CG distance. So total moment is 10 into 4 and 4 by 2 plus 4 as a CG distance and RB creates anti-clockwise moment. So it is negative RB and total perpendicular distance is 8 which must be equal to 0. Now solving this value we will have Forty two kilo newton. So our reaction value is forty two kilo newton. Now second equilibrium condition is sigma v equal to zero and vertical upward force is treated as a positive. Hence the value is R A plus R B which is equal to forty eight in the downward direction. Thus tan into four in downward direction. So total load is forty eight plus forty as a eighty eight in downward direction. And putting the value of RB as a 42, we will have RA value is 46 kilo newton. So, for the simply supported beam, we have to first calculate the support reaction. Now, second step is we have to select a section. According to the Macaulay's method, we have to select the section in the last span of the beam as well as taking origin in the left hand side and that section must be cutted by the UDL. So let us assume that our section is in between D to B which cuts the UDL also and origin is at left hand support. So from origin our distance is X. Now we have to take a moment at this distance or we can say that at this section. So let us calculate the moment at this location we will have now RA into total distance as a X meter in the clockwise direction. So it is positive RA into X. Now 48 creates anti-clockwise moment. So value is negative 48 and perpendicular distance from the section is total X minus 2. So value is X minus now due to the UDL, the moment is in anticlockwise direction. So it is negative. Now total load is 10 into span value is total X minus 4 meter. So UDL is of X minus 4 meter span and CG distance from this section is X minus 4 by 2. So total value is 10 by 2 into X minus 4 square. Now putting the value of RA which is 46, we will have... So, this is the moment at this section. Now, using the elastic curve equation, we will have elastic curve equation is Ei d square i by dx square which is equal to minus m. So, putting the value of m in this equation, we will have 46x as a minus 46x due to the negative m. Now, separating the moment next value is minus 48 into x minus 2 which is as a positive t8 into x minus 2 and the rest value is 5 into x minus 4 square. Now integrating this equation we will have Sigma 
C1 as an integration constant according to the method x minus 2 is treated as one term. So, the integration is x minus 2 all square divided by 2. Similarly, x minus 4 square as a x minus 4 cube divided by 3. So, equation A is for the slope. Now, again integrating this term, we will have x square integration as a x cube by 3 and in denominator 2, so 3 into 2 as a 6 plus c1 is integrated as a c1x, integration constant is c2 due to the second integration, 48, now x minus 2 square integration as a x minus 2 cube divided by 3 into 2 as a 6 and 5 by 3 is constant, so 5 x minus 4 cube integration as a x minus 4 raised to 4 divided by 4 into 3 as a 12 where equation B is for the deflection. Now we have to calculate this integration constant C1 and C2 using the boundary condition and we know that at location of support hinge we have the total deflection as a 0 as well as the roller support total deflection is 0. So for location A our distance is 0 from the origin and our first boundary condition is while x equal to 0 at location A our deflection is also 0. So from equation B if we put the value of x as a 0 then our value is 0 cube as a 0 now c1 into 0 as a 0 c2 is as it is now 0 minus 2 cube so 0 minus 2 as a minus 2 and when x minus a terms is 0 we have to ignore wall term according to the method so we do not have to use these term as well as 0 minus 4 as a minus 4 so we have to ignore wall term though there is a 4 power so our value for constant is 0 as a C2. Now second equilibrium condition is when x equal to, now for location B, our distance from the origin is 8 meter. So our boundary condition is when x equal to 8 meter, yb is also a 0. From equation B, eiy is a 0. Now we have to put x as a 8 meter. plus 8 into c1 now c2 is 0 from the first boundary condition rest value is 48 by 6 now x as a 8 meter so 8 minus 2 as a 6 cube 5 by 12 as a constant 8 minus 4 as a 4 raised to 4 now solving this term we will have Solving this value, we will have the value for C1 which is equal to 261.33. So, from boundary condition, we can calculate both the integration constant. Now, we have to put this integration constant in equation A and B to formulate the final slope deflection for the given beam. We will have from equation A, our slope equation is From equation B, we have EIY as a So, our final slope and deflection equation after putting the value of constant as equation C as well as equation D. Now we have to put the value of x according to the required slope and deflection which is according to the requirement we have to find out slope at location A and location B. 
so at location a our value for x is 0 as origin and a point is coincide so in equation c if we put x equal to 0 then the value is for slope at a and x value is 0 so first term is 0 second value is 261.33 now 0 minus 2 as a minus 2 so we have to ignore this term similarly 0 minus 4 as a minus 4 the term is ignored so our value for rotation at a is 261.33 divided by ei in terms of kilonewton meter square similarly we have to calculate the slope at b so at location b our value is of 8 meter so we have to put the value as a 8 meter in equation c we will have We will have the slope at location B which is minus 240 by EI in terms of kilonewton meter square and negative value indicates that the slope is in anticlockwise direction. Similarly, we have to calculate the deflection at location C and at location C our value for distance is 2 meter from the origin so let us put the value x as a 2 meter in equation d for the deflection we have ei y at location c which is If we put the value as a 2 in 48 by 6 term then the value is 0 and for the last term 2 minus 4 as a minus 2 so we have to ignore this term and the value for deflection at location C which is 461.33 divided by EI in terms of kilonewton meter cube. So thus we can calculate the slope and deflection of given beam at any location using the Macaulay's method. Thank you.